Hey guys, Loaded Tech here. So today we'll be doing something a little bit differently. We'll be replacing the body and the battery on the Nexus 6P. I haven't used it in some time. But you know, let's bring this phone back to life and let's get started. So I have a couple of home materials such as some wipes here. Two picks for going at the under the screen and getting at the battery and body. A skinny screwdriver. It could be, you could also get a putty knife as long as it isn't that sharp and it's skinny enough. We also need two cards. I'm using two of my IDs here. But you could use a poker card that's hard enough to go underneath and also a push pin to go through um, corners behind the back of the phone. So let's get to the body. So I got this body off of Amazon. It is around uh, $16.98. It is by Vicure, I believe, on Amazon. It's a really good body. It comes with the glass lens and adhesive. Also comes with the back bottom. It comes with these wipes and picks and suction cup and a lot of tools here. So let's also get to the battery. This battery I got it from AEX Power on Amazon as well. This is around $15.95. It does have the temperature sensor unlike the other batteries. So you will have safe and legitimate fast charging. So you also got the wipes, the easy tab removal stickers for when you're installing this uh, battery so you can replace it easily next time. Magnetized screwdrivers and a removal tool as well. You also need a hair dryer. So once we do that, we could get started. Let's move on to you know, the hardest part, which is actually removing the back. And the glass is especially difficult. A lot of people have broken it. But if you take your time and you're patient enough, it should be easy. So you should take the hair dryer and you start blowing air around it. So it just around like this. Okay, so I applied heat for around like three to four minutes. After doing that, make sure it's like hot enough that you can't touch it. So once we do that, this is where the push pin comes into play. If you want to keep the body uh, preserved, you should be careful and use something thin like the screwdriver here. However, in our scenario, since we are doing just the replacement of the whole thing, we go ahead with the pin. And just make sure you insert it a little bit underneath. And once you do that, just lift it up and just take one of the picks. Actually, let's take the slim ones. Those are easier to do. Take one of the picks and just run it through. It should come right off. Yeah, you will have to apply a little bit of force. Just be careful not to damage the bottom. It is plastic, unlike the glass, so this is fairly easy. However, apply some pressure and you should be able to get it off. As you can see, they put a lot of glue into this foam. And what I find surprising, Jerry Riggs Everything video also explains this. They say this is an all metal foam, but as you can see, they clearly have plastic here. And they also have plastic on here too. So yeah, once we do that, there's also one more thing you have to remove. There's this tamper sticker here. There's a screw underneath. Just take the pin, push it right up. Should, if it doesn't come right off, you will have to make a screw size hole in it. And yeah, as you can see, we revealed the screws, so we're good to go. All right, so the next step, it involves the dryer once again. This is for the glass. You have to be careful. Make sure you heat it up a little bit more than the plastic right here. So just be a little careful with it. All right, so let's get started. So we're gonna start with the dryer this time around. So just, do, so just do this before I turn it on. I'll just say, go back and forth, just like the one piece in the bottom. So let's turn it up, let's do this. Okay, so once we're done with that, as you can see, I just put this thin screwdriver in between. Make sure it lift off, lifts off a little. So yeah, this is where the Metro card comes into play. Or you could use any thin card, but let's just slightly put it in there. See, as you can see, so it glides smoothly on there. I have to make sure I don't damage my barcode. Because you know how much they increase the prices of the unlimiteds and the service pretty bad. But yeah, let's get through this actually. Okay, this one we bring in the triangle pricks. Okay, why do I, I feel like this might crack here, so I'll just take this side out and slowly push through. Many YouTubers have a hard time with this, it just cracks. But as you can see, we're slowly able to cut through this. Now we just go around on the top. There is a flash assembly, plastic assembly that's connected. Let's just go over to the other side. And yeah, so a couple of times this will lift up, so we will have to do this again. But once you do that, you should be able to just glide with the screwdriver carefully. Make sure not to damage the camera lens, because if you damage that, it's going to be quite difficult to get one of those parts. So as you can see, we got it off successfully. So you take that off, put that aside, and we move on to the next step, which would be to remove the tamper screw. So let's just push this up. 
and you got that white sticker out of the way and let's put this aside all right guys so we got that out of our way as you can see it's quite straightforward some youtubers you know just try scaring people but you can easily do it at home like i never did a nexus 6p myself or any phone repairs that go internal so yeah this is fairly straightforward as you can see so let's start with the screws there's two phillip head screws on the top make sure you grab the orange screwdriver because that one's magnetized with the battery kit Move the screws Move this one here so yeah this one's giving me a little bit of trouble but once you get all four of these out there's a few more here get all four out and once we do that we should be good to go there's one by the tamper sticker here one here and once you guys do that we should be good to go okay, as you can see we just removed the last screw over here so we get that out of the way put all of them here they're the same size so you can mix them up put it in one place it doesn't matter and now, now let's go on to removing the SIM tray. Because, you know, we're moving on to the screen now. So let's just remove that. Pull that out, set that aside. Let's go to the front. And this is where the hairdryer comes in once again. And we just do the edges. Make sure you don't do... If you have, like, a screen protector, don't do it over. Because, obviously, it's going to melt off and come off. So just do it carefully on the edges. Okay, so this is the hardest part, usually. There's actually two layers to this. As you can see, there's the display layer and there's the internal layer. So with the screwdriver, what you have to do is you have to carefully go in between the body. You will have to flex the metal frame a little bit. And what you do is just push up a little, making sure you don't damage the display itself. Because the LCD itself is way more difficult to replace. And you will have to do a lot. So let's get one of these clips. And you just slowly, like as you can see, I already made a gap in the phone. As you can see, there is a gap. All you have to do is just pull up simply. Yeah, it looks a little bit easier because I do have body damage. But in your case, what you have to do is you have to go around and start popping the clips one by one. So as you can see, this came off. And you see the clips are right here. So there's a clip over here, clip over here, and clip right around here too. So the trick is that you go in through here, through the corner, and you don't push up on the display. Because the display is in this component right here. As you can see, this is the display right here. And it looks like when repairing, I didn't make a gap with the display. So I will have to be cautious with that. But make sure that you don't go on this layer. Instead, you push towards the frame instead of pushing towards the screen buffer right here. So you just go in the metal. So once you do that, we got this off. You'll have to do a couple of things here. All right, guys. So for this step, we'll be removing one of the screws right over here. Once we get that, it's going to spin around a bit. Alright, so we got that off. So the next step would be, we take one of the tools here for the removal of the pieces. So what you do is you very carefully go wedge this in between. Just pop it all off. Move the metal cover right here. We will move on to unplugging these uh, pins right here. So carefully go underneath and just push up. Unplug that. Carefully go underneath. Get that. Next one is the battery. Just push up. Battery should come right off. So once we do the battery, the next step is to take one of these plastic triangle pricks. Push underneath. There's a lot of glue underneath. So let's go back and forth. And yeah, what you might have to do is use a metal screwdriver on these. So it comes right off. So carefully put it in between. Just start prying the battery apart. Make sure not to bend the battery as it can, can explode. And once you do that to all sides, just put the plastic tool underneath and make sure to be careful as there's a display cable right underneath. So you take the other metal tools, just put this underneath as well. Start going all around the battery. And once you do that, you should be able to place one of the triangle pieces in. And it'll start coming right off. So you just keep on going all around. And once you do that, you should be good to go. As you can see, it's starting to lift. Once it starts lifting on four corners, just push up a little. Once we go around with the screwdriver, making sure not to puncture the battery, you take one of the cards and just start putting it in here. You could also use a poker card or playing card if it's hard enough. Start working your way around the battery. A little bit of force is okay. Just be careful not to damage the display ribbon underneath. 
just start popping off the battery. It's a lot of glue to apply to it. And if you do bend the battery, make sure to only do slight bends. As a big bend might explode the battery and it might be dangerous. Start going underneath. Take the other card, push it up on other side, on the other side. Okay, it looks like we might have to use the screw again, pop it right up. The adhesive used on this battery is really strong, so you have to be careful. Making sure you don't damage anything underneath. Once you do that, you have to go underneath and start pushing in with the cards that you have. So yeah, as you can see, we already went through the first sticky layer. Okay, so once you start pushing in, you should go right through and you should be able to lift the battery right up. The adhesive is a little strong, so just be careful. It's going to come right off. Once we have the sticky pieces off from the battery, these already have their adhesive remaining. If you want, you can use the sticky pieces they include in it, but for now, you could just place this with this in it. Just take that in. Just line up the battery, make sure you pop it right in. Just like make sure it lines up. And, but first, let's go on with the display cables as those are fairly easy to put back on. Alignment is quite hard on these. The battery ribbon is a bit longer than the factory one. Just bring it up a little. And you should be good to go. Okay, so once we have secure, made sure all of these are secure, we just take this piece back, put it right on. So it should slide right on over there and lock in. So you take one of the screws, grab the magnetic bit, put it into it. What you do is okay. What you do is put it right in there. Once you do that, just start screwing it in tightly. Yeah, once you do that, you should be able, good to go. But make sure you test it out, grab one of the IDs once again. And as you can see, the power button's right here. Actually, you know this on this side over here. So it's one of these orange black labelings right here, right under the orange one. So you just take, go over here and push right down on the button. It's a really tiny button, so just be careful with it. And there you go. Once you hear it click. So yeah, here you go, you see the Google sign, so this shows you you're good to go, and it is working properly. So once we do that, we'll move on to the body right here. And if you have, uh, if you aren't replacing the body, you could just put the original body back on, and you can just screw it on and place the glass visor back in again. So let's move on with the body. So one thing you have to do is, since this lacks an NFC chip, we'll have to lift it up. So let's just go with one of the thin metal tools so it actually goes through. You have to be careful when doing this process. Make sure not to damage the contact pin especially. Right in the corner. Lifting this up is a little difficult but you should be able to get to it. Start slowly working your way down. Just be careful not to damage the golden contact pins and you should be good. Just take this off and start lifting. So start lifting this off. Make sure you know where it went. Once you do that, as you can see in our case it ripped, but as long as you have the golden contact pins, you should be good. So you just line it up over here. It's one of those contacts right here. As you can see the way it's done here. So it ends off right here in the corner on the top. And you have a cutout for it and everything, so let's bring it a little bit lower, place it down, and you're good to go to put this in. So yeah, let's continue on with the placement of this. You just take the side, just place it down. This will be a more secure fit this time, because it is a new body. And it's no big deal if the phone's still powered on as you have already attached the new battery. So this is the part where you have to take off the layer. Okay. Let's put on tightly so it close that up. Let's move on to the screws. So you have to screw on all the areas that we did before. 
and then you would place the bits that are included with it, the new ones. Just tighten these and just do all of them. Do this one here, this screw hole here, this one, and the top two on here, and you should be good to go. And we'll proceed from there. Okay, so once we have finished tying the last screw, uh, if you want, you could apply the previous glass piece you had. In this case, I will. But in the packaging, you do have a replacement one with the adhes adhesive. So you could just put it right back on, but we'll just use the existing one for now. As we could save that for la later repairs or in case this glass one cracks. So we just push that, push that in, make sure it's tight and snug. The glue from before is good enough, so just push around it. Okay. So then we just go into this packaging and take the bottom piece out. You could do the golden one, but it wouldn't match. You can see it's right here. But if you want, you can go with your old one if you want. If it doesn't match, it would look cool, but for this case, we'll just go with the silver one. So let's just line up the bottom, make sure it's perfectly aligned. So we just push down. Yeah, so just push in the glue before it goes all the way in. Push it down, make sure it's all aligned. Push down just to ensure it's all proper. And yeah, we did that. And since we already turned on our phone during the testing, just make sure all the button works. And all the buttons do work, in fact. So let me just put in the pin. And as you can see, it's working perfectly. The camera is clean. It's working perfectly as well. Just click allow. Okay, just click allow. And here you go. So everything's working perfectly. Just ensure you put in everything tightly. And your Nexus 6P should be looking good as new with the new battery. And should have all your issues solved. Make sure everything's good to go. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And if you had any suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment below. I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you enjoy your newly repaired Nexus 6P.